Phoebe, you look absolutely amazing today. You're also the most amazing person in my life. I consider myself to be the luckiest man alive. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and a very warm welcome on behalf of Bournemouth Christ Church and Paul Registration Service and the team here at the Italian Villa on this very special day for George and Phoebe. We welcome George to our family today, but in truth, it feels like he's been a part of it for a long time already. George has seamlessly fitted into our tight-knit group and is always happy to roll his sleeves up and to get stuck in. A great example of this has been the few times we've been to Centre Parks as a family in recent years. Not only is George great in the way that he puts up with our excitable nature when we all get together, but he also uses this as an opportunity to whip us all at archery and temp in bowling. It's clear that you and Phoebe have something special together. You make a great couple and a great team. Your personal strengths, they complement each other, and together you're up for early challenge together. This is shown by what a great job you're doing raising Daisy. She is such a happy and well-behaved little girl that everyone adores. And she is a credit to you both. George, at this point, I should be offering you marriage advice for your life together. Having 10 successful months under my belt, I have the minimum qualification to do so. Continue to be kind, supportive and hardworking, and I have no doubt you'll do well. Just keep doing what you're doing, and I'm sure you'll have a long and happy life together. I, George Patrick Wilkins. I, George Patrick Wilkins. Take thee, Phoebe Ann Elizabeth Dack. Take thee, Phoebe Ann Elizabeth Dack. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. I, Phoebe Ann Elizabeth Dack. I, Phoebe Ann Elizabeth Dack. Take thee, George Patrick Wilkins. Take thee, George Patrick Wilkins. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. <laughs> having made the declaration required by law and having made solemn and binding promises to one another in my presence, the presence of the marriage registrar and your family and friends, it is now my pleasure, my honour and my great privilege to announce that you are married to one another. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Wilkins. Probably the biggest compliment that I can give you is that you're the most caring person that I know. Your first thought is to always think of others and checking that everybody else is happy. This selflessness is a benefit to anybody that knows you and it's always reassuring to know that anyone near you is being looked after. You're a great mother, daughter, sister, niece and auntie and you'll now be a great wife to George. Phoebe and George, today will be one of the happiest days of your lives. Make sure you take a step back and look around you and enjoy what your love has brought together. It really is a special day. And as a brother to you both now, I wish you every happiness for the future together and offer you all my support along the way if you ever need it. But honestly, George, you've clearly done something right in this life to be so lucky and have someone as amazing as Phoebe to marry you. You both make the perfect couple. They say marriage succeeds when it's full of respect, commitment, teamwork, and most importantly, love. Phoebe and George, without a shadow of a doubt, have formed such a beautiful relationship over the years they've known each other, including their beautiful daughter, Daisy. It will only get stronger as you both continue building your lives together. 
I want to wish you both a joyous life together as you slowly drive each other crazy, you know, as married couples do. George? <laughs> now, I'd like everybody to raise a glass and toast, please, to the wonderful couple, to Phoebe and George. Now, to the most important person, Phoebe. I remember asking Aidan for Phoebe's number. <laughs> after messaging all the time, we became good friends. And not long after, I asked Phoebe to be my girlfriend. I'm embarrassed to say, but we didn't even go on the first date. But we've made up for that by having many dates over the last seven years. If somebody asked me to describe Phoebe, I would have to say that she's loving, kind, caring and funny, and occasionally annoying. <laughs> Especially getting you a drink at 3am in the morning. Right? I just, you're a fantastic mum to Daisy. I just love everything about you. You're the most perfect wife. Phoebe has helped me make me the person I am today, and I look forward to spending the rest of our lives together.